Morgan, I'll start off with you. Now, this two-week stretch had to be circled on your calendar for quite some time. Solheim Cup, major back-to-back weeks. Everybody says this is a huge stretch. How do you mentally and physically, you know, prepare, try to, you know, get your game and your mind right for for this two-week stretch? Well, it's definitely tough um, just in terms of the intensity of the golf over the two weeks, the concentration that it'll take really on every shot and – just come into it knowing what you're up against and uh this afternoon I'll certainly lay low and try and rest a little bit and uh tomorrow's will be a pro-am and then um after the event this week uh, I think Monday will certainly normally Mondays after a major are just kind of a release day where you got to give your mind a break from overthinking usually and uh, so it'll be interesting having it be Monday of the Solheim Cup but uh I think everybody will will want a little bit of a rest come Monday and then uh, get back at it. Sure. Well, Zet, I'll go to you next. Now, you had your first experience in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Did that entire week, you know, just go through your expectations or completely exceed them? Did you know what to expect or how did that entire week go for you? I mean, they told me what to expect, but it just exceeded everything that I thought. It was... Um, definitely exhausting come you know after Solheim I was just exhausted just all the emotion and all the concentration you had to go through and and um so I definitely know what I'm up against this time and uh knowing that we're not home um you know silence will be our our expectation or my expectation from the crowd um but yeah I'm I'm more mentally prepared this time and and uh, so I'm just really excited for these two weeks. Now, Allison, making your first appearance next week, your main goal this year, you said, was to make the Solheim Cup team somehow, and you did. How proud of you are your, of yourself that you played your way onto the team um, through the Rolex rankings, and what do you expect for next week? Um, first of all, this being my first Solheim Cup, um, I, on, I honestly have, I have no idea what's going to happen, and I... Obviously, uh, I've played in several junior Solheim Cups, so I know what it's like to be there and to cheer on Team USA, but um, being able to play on the team this year and actually be the one to represent my country, I'm just super excited. Um, And yeah, I mean, ever since I turned pro, definitely Solheim Cup was on my mind because I've played in three junior Solheim Cups, so I mean, it's always been a dream of mine to actually play in the Solheim Cup. And I'm actually kind of glad it's in Europe this year. I feel like it'll be a little less nerve-wracking because um, there won't be as obviously as many U.S. Uh, supporters out there. But I feel like that's going to be to my advantage, so I won't be as nervous. I was going to ask yeah. you, what are your expectations? Do you just want to say, you know, I'm a rookie, I don't have any, I'm going to just go out there and hold my own, or do you really want to go out and be a full-on contributor? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't, I definitely want to have a few points go up on the board to count for my team. Um, and you know, I feel like I've been playing well so far this year. So definitely it's something I would definitely want to contribute to the team and do everything I can to help us win. Sure. Morgan, this team is very veteran laden. There's a lot of players on there that have a lot of experience. Where do you find your role as a veteran coming in, being a vocal leader, leader by action? What do, how do you lead by um, in a team environment? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I think the first and foremost thing is that my responsibility is to play good golf. And at the end of the day, we can only control our own uh, golf out there and uh, between you and your partner and um, playing against the other group. And that's, that's match play. That's what I love about the Solheim Cup. That's what I've always enjoyed about match play. And... Um, but, I mean, in terms of the team, I mean, I sat with Allison a little bit today and we kind of talked about what to expect and uh, gave her a little bit. I don't know if my, did I give you some good veteran knowledge? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you can ask her. But, um, you know, it's just, I mean, like you said, a lot of the players have been there before. Lizette talked about um, how she wasn't really prepared last time and is going to come out swinging this time knowing knowing what uh, we're up against. I think we're all that way, and a lot of the players have been on the last two losing teams, and uh, we don't want that to happen again. Morgan, just thinking about this week, is it difficult not to think ahead to the solo? I mean, you know, you've got a major in front of you here. Is it hard to keep the focus and not let, in, let your concentration drift to, to playing against Europe? Well, I mean, I think 
I think everybody's talking about it. So certainly it's in the front of everyone's mind here. We've got uh, a huge major championship, the last one of the year, and then um, going next week uh, with both teams playing here. It's certainly something that people are talking about. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if I can play well this week, that gives me a lot of confidence going into next week. And, um, you know, I'm here. I'm here. I won't, I came here to win this tournament and uh, not just to prepare for Solheim Cup. And uh, so that's kind of the way that I'm – trying to put as much energy into certainly getting out, feeling that around the golf course like uh, we all did this morning and um, trying to be prepared come Thursday. Allison, your first appearance at this championship, what did you hear about this event? I'm sure you saw pictures. I'm sure you heard about it. But what did you hear about and what did you think about this venue itself when you first got here? Um, I've heard a lot about this event. Obviously, this is my first time in France, so I didn't know what to expect. I just, I've just heard stories about how it is a challenging golf course, and it'll definitely be a test to all of our games, um, and mentally as well, to be able to play the golf course. Um, I didn't play all 18 today, but, um, but yeah, I could, I would say it's, you know, it is a challenging golf course, and you're gonna have to know where to hit the ball. Um, and where to leave yourself. So it's it's not just a straightforward golf course. So you're going to have to definitely um, play strategically and, and carefully and, and not too aggressively. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely a test and I'm really looking forward to it. Hi, it's Morgan Pressel here. Thank you for watching the LPGA's YouTube channel. For more content on all things LPGA, head over to the newly redesigned LPGA.com.